guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted a whole lot of stuff on this um, channel or anything in a while, but I want to kind of recap on a couple things. Um, I'm, I'm back. I want to do more videos of what's going on in my life. And so far there's been so much going on. It is November 4th, 2019, and I don't think I posted anything since August of last year. Crazy, I know. So, um, you know, fast forward a year and some odd months ahead. John is seven, Emerson will be five in January. Um, I'm in a relationship, a really, really good, happy relationship. As most of you know that I got a divorce back in November of last year, obviously. So I've been divorced a whole year. Well, a whole year on the 11th, the 11th. I don't remember. I don't keep track of any of that. I know my wedding anniversary and then that's it. I don't remember when I got divorced. All I know is it was the best day ever coming. So that's done. Um, uh, legal issues going on with Brian. Brian's been in a lot of trouble lately. Uh, not lately, but in the last, in the beginning of the year, he was in a lot of trouble going through, um, being arrested and in and out of hospitals. So, um, I have actually temporary custody of the boys. So a lot of that plays into what I'm going to go into detail about with, um, all of that. So, that's kind of what's kind of where we're at. Um, I live, um, I'm still living in New Braunfels. Um, I live with my boyfriend who I've been dating for almost a year now and he's amazing. I love him to death. He has two kids. I have two kids. We have four kids. Um, except I'm going to post, I'm going to put, go ahead and put in a clip here. This is back in August and I hope y'all enjoy. Okay, so here's the deal. I am 12 days late on my period and I have taken over, I think, three or four or tests already and they've all come back negative. This morning, when today is August 22nd, I decided to take um, the last pregnancy a test I had for, I was in that pack and usually, you know, the last test I took was, I think, three or four days ago, and it came out negative. And it was at the end of the night, so I knew we probably needed to take one um, early morning, like my first, you know, pee of the day. And so I went ahead and just did that. And I'm, I think I have like one more minute left on the pregnancy um, test clock thing and I am nervous I I've been stressed to the max with um, job um, court things going on with Brian and I got a little visitor Why are you say hi can you give me a minute I'll be out there in just a minute, okay? Okay. Can you shut the door, please? Uh, sure. Thank you. Oh, you're going to be in here? Can't tell them what I'm doing, but... Um, do you want to see what it says? Isn't that exciting? Oh my gosh, I was so nervous when I took that pregnancy test. I was like in denial. I was in denial. I had no idea. I, so, okay, rewind a little bit. I was about four or five days late on my period. So I was like, you know what? I need to take a test. I don't think I'm pregnant. I think a lot of this is stress and this is what plays in part. I was going through legal issues with Brian at the time. So I was, stressed and I thought a lot of that had to do with what's going on in my personal life with that. So I was like, it's just stress. I'm gonna start my period tomorrow. I'm gonna start the next day. And then the next day would come and I was like, nope, I'll start tomorrow. I'm gonna start tomorrow. I'm gonna start tomorrow. And the 11 days passed and I was late and it was okay. Um, it's not stress. I'm pregnant. 
and I knew I was feeling different. Um, not so much looking different, but I was just feeling different. I felt, I don't know. I felt, I, I have a feeling that I felt the implantation. I don't know if you can feel it, but it was more of like, it was a crampy feeling. And, um, I was at work when it happened and I could feel it and it just felt different. It didn't feel like period cramps. It didn't feel like PMS, like different. And I was like, oh my gosh, I guarantee I'm pregnant. So I took a test on August, I don't remember the day. I'm so bad with dates, y'all. Um, it was a couple of weeks before school started. And I know this because my boyfriend was at school for an in-service day and I was at home with the boys and school hadn't started because John was still at home. And so I took a test and I was reading like, if it comes back negative, wait three or four more days and then take one, but take one in the morning. Your urine in the morning is more potent, it's stronger, it's going to give you a clear read. Well, I took that test and it was clear as day. You are pregnant. And I was, I, I just cried. I was bawling my eyes out. Um, it, you know, Dustin and I had a conversation probably not too soon after um, or before I took the pregnancy test and it was we want one more and um, but let's wait let's wait at least a year let's get you know our financial and living and all of that we were already living together but let's get all of that in order before we decide to you know have a baby get married you know do something um, but things happen and life works the way it wants to and and it did so found out I was pregnant and I texted Dustin and I said you need to call me right now and I was like why did I send that why did I say that like I what am I going to tell him over the phone like what so he calls me and he's like hey what's wrong and I said I literally couldn't get the words out of my mouth they would not come out of my mouth I was like um, can we meet for lunch? And he was like, yes. And I was like, okay. So we met for lunch. And all I could do was cry. And I was just sitting there. I would cry and then laugh and then cry and then laugh and then look at him and laugh. And he was just like, can you just tell me? And I was like, well, he already had an idea. He said, here, I kind of already knew. And he was like, I think I already know, but just tell me. And so I was like, okay. I took the last pregnancy test that I had and it came back positive. And he was like, well, I kind of already knew. Like, we both had this idea that, you know, it was either stress or it was pregnant. Like, there was no nothing in between because there's so much, I'm not kidding, there was so much going on in my personal life. I was in the middle of getting a really good job, got it, and then, um, then I had issues with Brian. And so there was so much going on in my life at the time. So it was, I was stressed. I was very unhappy. <laughs> I was just, and then to find out I was pregnant on top of that, it was just not, not what I was expecting. So, needless to say, we're excited. We're so, 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 so excited. <sighs> um, I went today. I'm 16 weeks today. 16 weeks and one or two days. When I get to the doctor and give them the day of my last period. It comes back and they're like, well, you're 16 weeks and five days. And I'm like, how? Because how? But whatever, you know? Okay. So I get an ultrasound done. And look at this little, little babe. Look at that little babe. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So he was taking measurements and he was saying, you know, he, baby is looking smaller than 16 weeks and I was like well I mean I you know my periods were regular um I I because I was tracking my periods and they were pretty regular and um okay well this last period only lasted three days and so he was like well he's in, baby's measuring at 14 weeks and I think 
I think he said 14 weeks in a couple days. And um, then he's put in, and so my due date from the beginning was like April 18th. And so I was excited, Dustin was excited because Dustin's birthday is on the 19th. And so I was like, okay. But then he came back and my doctor was like, no, he's baby's due on April 28th. But then he said April 15th, so tax day. But then at the end, it was April 28th. So I don't know, um, my next appointment, um, he's gonna do more measurements. And he said baby could be small because of genetics. Baby could be small, maybe our days are off. Um, he said, but I mean, baby looks good. Baby looks healthy, baby sounds good. So um, baby was very, very active, very active. He put the he started doing the ultrasound and baby was all over the place so it was just crazy well he gets to um he got a shot between the legs and um before my doctor could even say anything i was like um what was that <laughs> and he goes so I already know what it is and I said yeah I think I know what it is too and he was like so do you want me to tell you and I said well I think I know what it is and he was like so is it a boy and he was like it's the boy <laughs> we're having a boy we're having a, another boy it's three boys in my heart like I wanted a girl so so bad like on Dustin's side, there's only three girl cousins, and then we, there's eight boys. So we have nothing but boys. And so um, we were wanting a little girl so bad. But, you know, we both were like, we want healthy, and that's it. We want a healthy baby. We don't care if it's a boy. We don't care if it's a girl. But I didn't cry. I cried with Emerson when I found Emerson was a boy. I did cry, and it was... A sad cry and then I felt really bad because <laughs> Emerson's the love of my life John's the love of my life too um, but Emerson is definitely a mama's boy and <laughs> so I instantly was like no, no 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 I'm so happy but I didn't cry and I I think it was more of a surprise because I saw it before he my doctor even said anything and um, this is the first time I've like actually like cried about it um, oh my gosh, <laughs> um, it's just surreal, like, I, you don't, it's not real until you see it, until you see it, and then it's like, oh shit, you have a baby, like, there's a baby inside of my tummy, I'm gonna show y'all my, my bump, and, um, I don't have much of a bump, but um is a bump and like i said i can't even tell y'all how far along i really am because he's measuring at what did he say i'm so out of breath he's measuring at 14 weeks but my calendar my numbers are telling me 16 weeks so i don't know doctor doesn't know Doctor's confused. So my next appointment, we're doing an an anatomy scan, and he'll be able to do more measurements then and give me a precise date. I there's one thing that in this pregnancy, maybe a couple things. But this is like the number one thing that I've noticed is um, shortness of breath, <laughs> and I'm not even that big. I my weight came back. I'm 126 pounds. 126 that's it 126 pounds and <coughs> I'm so out of breath and I can never I can't catch my breath to save my life can't catch it so um yeah I don't I don't know I don't know what's going on I'm so excited I my heart like I can't believe I'm having another boy I can't believe I'm having I'll have three boys Dustin's son um that's number, that's four boys and then you know I count Dustin that's five so <laughs> so um, just a house full of boys and I'm so excited I, as much as I wanted a little girl and to go and do paint nails and girly stuff I honestly don't think 
I would know what to do with a girl. If you are new to my channel, please hit subscribe. Please like this and leave a comment down below. Um, I'm going to try and get back into the swing of doing things of like baby updates and stuff like that. And um, I just didn't have a whole lot of um, stuff to post. And I didn't want to post anything about baby too soon because it was just a lot of the family kind of just found out maybe a couple weeks ago. So we didn't want to really post anything. And it's just YouTube's not my number one thing right now. So I'm excited. I'm hoping to get back into this. I'm hoping I can catch people's attention and draw people in. And I just want, you know, new mom, young moms, old moms to come on here and feel comfortable and you know, feel like there's someone there too. So thank y'all for watching and see y'all in my next one. Bye.